What's up, Interworld? Today I'm here to talk about my Samsung Top Load Smart Washer and Dryer. That was a gift thanks to my parents, so which is my grandpa's mom and dad. Now remember, these are my personal opinions on what I've been dealing with and what I love about these units. I am going to start by saying that I love bargains, so I waited until Black Friday to purchase my washer and dryer, hoping that I was gonna get a better deal, or there was gonna be a better deal. Turns out the price has been the same since before Black Friday until today, and today we're looking at January. So, looks like the same deal could have been bought before Black Friday. And that's even after keeping an eye on Lowe's, RC Willys, and Home Depot's, and other stores. So let's start as some of you guys might call this the negative Nancy segment. I purchased my washer and dryer and right off the gate go, they offer me a five year extended warranty for about, I can't remember the price actually. But most of my washers and dryers have outlasted a five year mark. So I decided to skip on that offer and hope I made the right decision. <laughs> Once purchasing my washer and dryer, they broke the news that I had to wait over a week because these washers and dryers were the number one sellers in the store. So that meant I had to hold my breath for a whole week. Finally, delivery day arrived, but delivery men weren't as excited as myself because they mentioned they had over 20 deliveries to do that day. Once the dryers got delivered into my garage, I asked for those employees if they can help me bring it into my laundry room, and they said no. In their defense, they did ask me if I wanted to have them have this washers and dryers installed, and I declined because it meant I had to pay additional fees to get it installed and purchase connectors because they have a policy that they do not allow to have existing connectors, which meant I have to buy new ones, which meant everything, the price just kept going up and up. P.S. This install is so simple that my grandma could have possibly done it. I mean, look at this photo. She could have done anything. And the reason why I say this is because the only thing you need is a set of pliers. Part of the story is that Home Depot did not install my washers and dryers, but I was pretty bummed because they would not help me carry the washers and dryers over that six inch step. So that meant I have to have one of my amigos come over and help me bring it in. Which by the way, a little secret. If any of your units come with a scratch or something goes wrong within two weeks, they can take them right away and there's no fees or extra costs or additional anything. Home Depot has you covered. You're welcome. And that's at no extra cost. Gracias. Now that I'm ready to install my washer and dryer and I had my infamous splitter and hose, according to the Home Depot employee, you can now buy anywhere and I had to purchase it while I purchased my washer and dryer. I opened my dryer and it already came with one. So now, thanks to this Home Depot employee giving me wrong information, I have to go back and return this to get my dollars back. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Now that I have my washer and dryer installed, it's time to do the first load. I am super excited about this. And kind of think about this, the soaps are pretty heavy. So I'm kind of disappointed on what Samson did because the soap dispensary feels a little flimsy. So if I was to let that rest, I can easily say that will break. So let's hope those muscles don't ever allow the soap to slip away. This washer has a setting for super speed wash, which will save you about 15 minutes. But for me, that has yet to work. Maybe because most of my clothes that I'll be wearing, it's not just for a regular meeting. I'm most of the time digging, riding my bike, breaking a sweat, or getting super dirty. So I better stick to the deep cleaning. When first looked at this manual, it looked very difficult, but once staring at it, it's super informative and easy to navigate. I love the self-timer clock on this washer and dryer. 
If you ever have plans on coming over around 8 p.m., you can have this washer start doing your load at 7. So right when you arrive to your home, you'll be ready to get your clean clothes into the dryer. Of course, another feature that I love is the setting for temperature, rinse, speed, and soils. Still haven't quite figured out soils. This washer has a five cubic feet space in here to wash plenty of clothes, but what does that really translate? What translates to me is my king. Yep. California King Comforter can fit in here and have plenty of space to even wash more clothes. Plenty of room, as well as countless shirts. Actually, let's count them. One thing I do love about this washer is the water faucet. Wait, water faucet? Is that what it's called? Make this thing to be accurate so I can sound smart. Oh, it's called the Active Water Jet Faucet. This thing is so cool. Will help you pre-treat any clothing by pushing. But I don't even know. So yeah. This By pushing this button, water will come out. You'll be able to pre-treat your clothes. Any stains will be gone. Push the button and turn off. Or if you leave it on, according to the manual book, water will run for about five minutes and it will shut off by itself. Yes! Bravo! A feature that I have yet to use is the waterproof jacket. What's that? If you guys used it, make sure you comment below, but it's there. So, in case you need your waterproof jackets washed, you have that option. This washer is so quiet that every single day that I do laundry, I can be taking a siesta and never be bothered. The bleach dispenser is in a perfect location. So if Sansan, if you ever need someone to design your stuff, soap dispenser would be an ideally right here. Way more accessible and not so things can possibly be easy to break. I have yet done 20 loads with my washer, but according to the manual, after 20 loads, it's gonna require a self-clean tub that I'm glad I don't have to do because I'll be looking like this. All within a push of a button, the tub will be clean, eliminating any bacteria that could be built up inside of it or any dirt built up as well. All within a push of a button. How cool is that? <sighs> by the way, I don't know if you just saw that, how itself shuts by itself, soft, shut? Is that? <clears throat> Let me look at the book again. It's called self. No. Oh, soft, close lid. So you don't have to worry about things happening. This washer has 10 preset cycle wash, and I have yet to use all of them. So I'm excited to try them all, but I know one out of those 10, I'm gonna find a favorite one. So which one is your favorite? Comment below again. I need to learn from you guys. When I first purchased this washer, I thought I broke it and I had to go to YouTube University to find out what was the thing beeping. Believe it or not, washers and dryers now have child safety protection. And the way that works, if you hold this button for three seconds, the washer will beep and beep, or in case, if God forbid, a kid goes inside the washer and it goes above the water raise level that it should be, it automatically drains sensing or thinking someone's inside there and could drown. Now let's not forget about the dryer. Dryer has plenty of features, a cool one when you have plenty of spare time. It has an eco-friendly mode, which means it's gonna take a little longer than regular, but it's gonna run a lot less energy, saving you more money once again. <laughs> 
Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. This dryer has a light indicating when it's time to clean your filter with all that lint that has to build up. Cool little light that reminds me to do a lot of cool things. This baby, this puppy, this beautiful dryer works amazingly. Breathe, so good. Cause there's no lint, <coughs> you know, making her work and flow air and <coughs> I'll stop. After a load is done from the washer or dryer, you get to hear this beautiful soothing music. Ready to go. I'm telling you that your clothes is smelling delicious and ready to be worn. Steam sanitizer refresher cycle. I think that's the actual name. So you were almost correct, you know, pretty close. Well, anyways. They claim that if you use that on your dryer, it gets rid of 99.9 .9 of the bacteria on your clothes. So it's just 1% for room error. Oh yeah, 95% pollen and 100% dust mite. I can't believe it. The dryer can do that. No need for the dryer. The dryer can do that. No need for the washer. So you were almost correct, you know, pretty close. Um, so well, this just continues on to for the dryer. Let me hear it. Sensor heat, yeah, sensor heat. We have that helps you for preventing any uh, damage with your clothes from being overheat and. Uh, Saving you money because it doesn't need to rent so much. So win-win. This dryer has 12 preset settings and cinco heat temperatures. Decent this test so far. Oh yeah, and another cool thing for me, I had to rotate the door because it spun the other way, which meant it would give me a lot less room. So you can switch directions on the door. Which way works better for your laundry room though? Because it's super simple. All you do is four screws, swap it to the other side, and you spin the other direction. Wait, you open the other direction. Oh yeah, a little bonus Ricardo Laguna information for one one. Try to stay away from the front load, keep the top load. The reason why my previous washes that I had front loads, after so long, the seal is just going with water and movement X, Y, Z. That seal tends to go bad. This one, you'll never have a problem. Always go top load. Gracias. Gracias. Personal opinion. Don't kill the messenger. Wow. Well. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm not no scientist. Science rules. Um, this thing has a wrinkle prevent setting, which I'm assuming that's why the third hose came in place. So throw some water, mist this all up, and uh, basically smooth this out all the wrinkles out of your clothes. So um, I think that's how it works. Science rules. T minus seven seconds. The science guy. Or maybe I need to try it myself. Well, guys, that's my review for my Samsung smart washer and dryer. Keep in mind, this are my personal experience. Yes, it cost me an extra hundred dollars just to go with this uh, space black uh, stainless steel. Um, Finger resistant. Oh wait, I already forgot again. How many times do I have to do this? All right, all right. Finger, no, die. I can't, I messed it up. Finger print resistless, resistance. Finger print resistance. Black stainless. 
I'm just gonna write it down right here because my Spanglish can't quite say it. Uh, it cost me extra hundred dollars, but white versus this color, totally worth it. Sad to say they claim that it's stainless. Uh, we'll do it a little up close because you can see a lot of the stains. Anywho, um, I am off to my next one. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please send me some messages. Don't forget to subscribe, look at the other videos. Ricardo Laguna from my own personal laundry room. I'm off to the next one.